we're going to uh, have a scary phrase for you. Welcome to the 1980s. Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> a fitting reaction. Uh, what was going on inside Hart at the dawn of the 80s? Uh, these strange cracks were forming in the cohesion of the band unity, you know? And strangely enough, they, the cracks went right down gender lines, you know? And that's how it, it always is in heart. I don't know why. I don't think Nancy and I are, are particularly bitchy women, but it just we're always seems that, to happen that way. We're not that hard to live with. <laughs> really, we're not. No, really, we're not. No, really, really, really we're, we're not. not. <laughs> but um, there formed this <laughs> grand canyon between the men in the band and the women in the band. Plus, they were, there was jealousies because the attention was always focused on the two of us because I guess we're just the most obvious thing to focus on. And, and, the, yeah. and the, the love relationships uh, were breaking up. Yeah, so it was a triple, quadruple whammy. Yeah. Kind of all through the 80s there. And then that's when we sort of went back and tried to, you know, the lifespan was done for Hearts, so we went back and changed the band, got the new record label and the new management company and kind of, you know, just, wow, we plowed through those 80s, man. <laughs> they basically <laughs> took us aside and said, times have changed. If you want to have big success now, this is what you got to do. Big hair. <laughs> big success. <laughs> yeah, big hair. Big costumes, big hair. Yeah. And at first it was really fun. I mean, it, yeah. was, it was a lot of fun. It was theater. Yeah. You know, and, and we got to get up. really super dressed up and do these videos and stuff. I think it was when it became the expectation that it got to be really a drag. We have a picture uh, of you guys in the 80s, and I want you not to feel at all bad, <laughs> because just so you know, I had big hair in the 80s, too. <laughs> Look what happened to me, so count yourself blessed. When you think back on that era uh, when, you know, you had a, really it was the second coming of heart uh, and having huge hits, uh, what do you think about those hits? What, what do they conjure up for you? One of my theories about the 80s and the music of the 80s that we all went through is that, like, the 60s and 70s were kind of defined in many ways by the shrooms and the drugs and the things, you know, the mind-expanding type of drugs that were going on at that time. And then in the 80s, it sort of shifted into more of a cocaine-type culture where the, um, the, gen the psyche, you know, the, the culture, was more about an ego thing, and it was like the drug was, you know? And so I think it really kind of defined the time. It was, it was a very um, self-centered, ego-driven time, you know? Definitely. And really a lot of high highs on stage during those times because mm -hmm. we had those huge places, and there were... Big hits. Yeah, there Number were moments ones. where all those big lighters were going, and, you know, it was, it was pretty cool. Uh, never going to come out and sound bitter about that stuff either, but it was a little hard to live behind because the image of it was so intensely unreal. You know, it was the extensions and the, you know, the, my, my feet hurt just thinking about the 80s, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> the corsets and the, you know, all the stuff, you know. My, the, my nail beds have never been the same since. <laughs> <Yeah, that's right. laughs> One song from the 80s that I just love uh, is These Dreams. And that song was written by, it's Bernie Taupin and I believe Martin Page. Martin Page, yeah. Uh, Bernie Taupin from Elton John. From Elton collaboration. John fame. Such an honor for us to get to do, yeah, make a hit song. out of uh, some Bernie lyrics, oh, you know. Yeah, like a dream uh, to come true. Uh, that was originally written and offered up to Stevie Nicks, as a matter of fact, and um, she, uh, declined and I, and we heard that tape you know when we were listening have a, a listening day of all these different songs that might be a hit for heart and uh, our then producer Ron Nevison said well this is just a cool song but it's no way is it right for heart and I I heard that song and I went oh yes it is <laughs> it's mine mine yeah. mine you that, know, I'll take that it. was a marriage <clears throat> made in heaven yeah Nancy's voice in that song oh. was just so we should probably just go and sing it. Please. <laughs> okay. <laughs>